All right, I got our fresh made uh, uh, MIDI board here that we just made, and let's show you how to program this into the uh, the Boss RC600. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to Menu, and we're going to go over to Assign. So remember, we got 16 assigns. So our first assign, number one, we're going to turn the switch on. All right, we're going to take this dial now. As you turn it, it turns, you know, one at a time. If you push down, it turns very fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this to MIDI 1. Remember, we have all start stop as MIDI 1. So that's our source. All right, and it's not a momentary. It's a push button, so we're going to turn that to toggle. And then we're going to page over and our target, okay? So this is where uh, that uh, parameter guide helps you find uh, where you need to be on all these. So again, remember, as you, let's see here, let's see if I find it real quick. All start, stop, all right? It's at the very beginning. So... We have just assigned that button, this button, oops, sorry, all start stop is now assigned to assign one. So what we're gonna do is hit exit, exit, and we're gonna go to assign two. Now remember assign two is the, the master volume, right? So we're gonna turn it on, all right? Our source is gonna be MIDI two. one two and that's a slider so we're gonna leave it at uh, or a fader we're gonna leave it at momentary all right we're gonna page over one and our target is gonna be master level so all we got to do is go through here and, and attempt to find it so, I'm pushing down hard um, I don't remember where it's at, but um, so as you can see, there are so many of these things in here. I really think I went past it. Oh, here we go. I think. Uh, what? Mic level one, loop level, main level. Sub level, master level, there it is, right there, master level. So we're gonna go ahead and exit, so we got it, exit. And now we're gonna go to number three. Number three is gonna be on, and we're gonna do uh, MIDI, one, uh, MIDI, we're on three. MIDI 3, we're on a fader, we're going to leave it that way, and then we're going to go over here, and our target is going to be uh, track 1, which is going to be, uh, let's see, I think levels at the end, yes, track 1 level, alright, so there you go, and we're going to exit, and then we're going to go to um, track or we're on one, two, three, four. We're on sign four, All right? And we're going to turn the switch on, and this is going to be MIDI four. I'm going to leave it momentary, and this is track one, two, three, four. This is going to be track two. So if you just go, oops, that's all right. Track two, and it's at the end. Track two level, there you go. So that's exit. Now we're gonna go to five. So we'll go five, switch on, MIDI five. Momentary, and go over. And this is gonna be track three level. So we're going to go till we get to track three. Oops. 
track three level exit all right we got one more to do right number six turn that on and again uh, this is going to be MIDI six or that MIDI six momentary And then uh, the target is going to be mic level one, right? So yeah, it's way over here somewhere. So I'm pushing down and turning so it goes a little faster for me. Okay, there's mic in mute. Uh, so the mutes uh, somewhere here is levels. There you go, mic level one. So that's what we want, right? And it was mic level one, so that was that slider. We just went ahead and program. So at this point, we're going to hit exit. And then don't forget to save this. So you're going to press the exit, enter, right? Go over here to right, and then we're going to hit enter. All right. So we have now set this, set this up. So we don't have anything programmed in here, but um, I went ahead and uh, we were done with our assigns. We saved everything. And we're going to do exit back. We'll get back to memory one. So I did, I just put something real quick on there. I didn't really do anything. We'll go ahead and uh, do something on here. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. All right. So. We have something on two tracks right now. So what I'm going to do is don't forget to plug your, your iPad back in. What we're going to do is, let's see if I can get both in the picture here. All right, I'm going to hit your all start and stop. Noticed all, all my green, they're playing, and they stopped. All right, and that's all there is to it. And then you've got your track levels that will... that will. Uh, you know, you can adjust, go up and down, and your master volume, and that's how it works. So you are good to go. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will put links in, the, um, in this video to the app and to the editor. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's uh, the sky's the limit on this thing. Remember, you can have up to 16 assigns. So you could actually have 16 controls on here. However, the memory is a little different. If you're going to do memory, I might have to do a different video on that. They don't. We don't do that uh, with a CC command in MIDI. And uh, but it is possible to do, uh, which I did on the other. Um, program that you saw and I can switch to that right now I'm gonna go up in this corner and I will go to test there's the test and I'm gonna select my boss RC hundred I go done and I'm back to that original one that we had so uh, I'll show you here on the memory as I move this memory up and down and here we go here you'll see it going up and down but that's a different video to get that, that to work. It's a little bit different of programming. Uh, it's pretty simple, straightforward. You can only use a slider or a rotary. I cannot figure out how to make a push button work. It'd be nice if I could do a increase, decrease, but Boss does not give us that assign. For whatever reason, they only leave it with the control, and uh, you know you gotta do it with a F7 foot switch. Uh, in order to do that I, I wish they would give us a MIDI command but um, it still works I still can make it work uh, with a slider or a rotary so I hope they help you guys uh, I'm new at this and uh, uh, this helps me a lot that I can be able to do this from uh, where I'm performing and not have to bend down and touch these dials all right have a good day